Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how PubNub's Presence API works with JavaScript. PubNub allows developers to ping data between devices using the publish-subscribe design pattern. The PubNub Presence API provides easy-to-implement functionality for accounting which users or devices are subscribed on your PubNub connection. The API enables client SDK methods to be called to check which user IDs are currently subscribed to a channel. In practice, this enables developers of a chat application to show currently online user information in the UI. It allows farmers with IoT devices that water their crops to account for the devices that are functioning. In mobile rideshare apps or taxi apps, riders can see how many drivers are currently on duty, all thanks to the PubNum Presence API. This JavaScript tutorial will enable you to implement Presence functionality into your web browser or Node.js application. First, you must enable the Presence feature on your PubNum API keys. By default, Presence is disabled. Visit dashboard.pubnum.com to enable the feature for your application. Presence has five client events that fire for every subscriber on your PubNum key set. Join, leave, timeout, set state, and interval. The PubNum client SDKs allow you to register an event handler for each of these events. The event methods provide information like user's unique ID and their custom state object. Join, leave, and timeout events are pretty self-explanatory. When you initialize the PubNum object in your client code, you can specify a heartbeat interval. Heartbeats are PubNum messages sent from the subscriber to tell the network, hey, I'm still connected. If PubNum does not hear a heartbeat from a subscriber during an interval, a timeout event fires for that UUID. Set state is an event that fires when an individual subscriber's state object is set. All of the channel subscribers will hear about the user's state being set. The interval event is an announcement to channel subscribers of how many users are currently in the channel. The interval event fires when the announce max number is exceeded by the amount of channel subscribers. Both the announce max and interval time frequency values are set for an entire key set in the PubNum admin dashboard, not in client code. There are four accessor methods for presence in the client SDKs that allow the developer to programmatically ask for subscriber details like channel members and their state objects. The one mutator is the set state method, which you can pass a JavaScript object to. Remember that setting a user's state will fire a set state event for all subscribed clients. UUIDs are unique keys for every PubNub subscriber. They can be set to any string, but it is ideal to use a version 4 universally unique identifier to avoid collisions. Here we have an HTML file with presence demo code. There are buttons that trigger getter methods and a text list for presence events. In the JavaScript, we have a channel name and the init code for PubNub. Here we add all the presence event handlers for every event. Of course, providing each of these is optional. When fired, they add the text message to the user interface. Here we subscribe to the channel and note that we must set with presence to true. This triggers the leave event when navigating away. Each of these button click events trigger a PubNub presence getter method. PubNub Presence makes online user information state data easy to access and change. Now you can build online user functionality into your chat application, smart home device network, or rideshare application. The next JavaScript tutorial will demonstrate secure channels with PubNub Access Manager. Thanks for watching.